I am here at Montreal New Tech and Hacking Health Innovation in Global Healthcare, and I've just bumped into the Chief Product Officer from Gentronics. And Gentronics is an exciting company that's been around for the last two years and grown phenomenally. So congratulations on a great speech. And tell us a little bit about Gentronics. Yeah, thanks. Uh, Gentronics is a, um, is a biomedical device company, and we use uh, the motion capture system, Microsoft Connect, to put patients in an engaging, motivating, interactive virtual environment where they're performing clinician-prescribed rehabilitation exercises. And so how can these clinicians actually get in touch with you, and how can they work with you? Uh, well, they can always go to our website. It's uh, www.gentronics.com. And, uh, you know, we're looking for, for partners to try out the system, give us feedback to help us improve it and make it something that has a major impact. So what's different about your system? I've had the chance to try it a couple of years ago. It's phenomenal. It's even more amazing now. What makes it so special? Well, it's able to, first of all, it's able to engage the patient on something that's clinically relevant for them. And the second is that it really able to track their progress so a patient could actually look at their last five, six months of rehab and say, wow, this is how, exactly how much I've improved. And this is an exciting environment to be discussing this with the Hacking Health and New Tech Montreal combined together, the business and the medical side. What did you think about the event tonight? Oh, it was awesome. There was some really mind-blowing projects. Definitely. So where's the future taking you now? Oh, <laughs> well, we'll find out. The customer will tell us where to go. <laughs> We're looking forward to seeing what you and Justin and team are going to do next. And uh, you've been on a phenomenal growth, and it's very exciting. So congratulations, and good luck with everything. Thanks very much. Thanks, Mark. I'm a co-founder with Gentronics. Uh, we're a Montreal-based company. We've been around for almost three years. And our mission is to redefine the delivery of physical rehabilitation services. So the idea all began about um, several years ago with one of my co-founders, his father, Sung Lin Tan, was a very successful surgeon at, in Montreal, um, well-respected across Canada, US, and globally. Um, portrait of a, of a successful life, an active life, and uh, that all came to a very grounding halt on flight from New York to Paris when he suffered from a massive stroke that, that um, ended up wound, up, wound up in a hospital in Paris with the entire right side of his body paralyzed. And that, became, that began um, four to five grueling years engaging in rehabilitation services to get himself back on his feet and get his life back together. Um, I'm happy to say that he actually has gotten his life back together. He is back in the driver's seat. He is, he is um, um, back as a practicing surgeon, but not with a, a tremendous amount of effort. And going through the process of rehabilitation, uh, we noticed three very significant pain points. Um, the first one is that it's, ex it's extremely manpower intensive. So doing, your, doing rehabilitation often requires one-on-one -on -one physical therapy, and the statistics show that just there, there are way more people coming through the door than there are clinicians there to give them an optimal amount of treatment. Um, the second thing is, if you're going to take it up independently and you do, do your rehab from home, they're going to give you a sheet of paper and tell you what exercises you're supposed to do. And forget about knowing exactly what that exercise is supposed to, what I'm supposed to do from that exercise, even if I am doing it kind of properly, I don't know how well I'm doing it and I don't really have the feedback to know if I'm doing it properly and that, the, the, the studies show, has significantly affects um, my ability to get back to an optimal state. And the third is that it's really, really, really hard to stay motivated uh, when you had an accident like that. Um, you're going to have to do your exercises on a daily basis for three, in a neurological injury, three to four to five years, depending on your, um, your ability. So it really depends on the character of the person if they're up for it. And um, the studies, the, the statistics show that uh, over 60% of the people who start that process don't finish it. They drop out prematurely. So there's definitely uh, a major issue that should be tackled there. So what we've done with our company is uh, we were inspired by these problems that we wanted to solve and the new generation of motion capture technologies that were available to developers to develop the system. I actually skipped slides. I'll come back to it. But anyway, to develop a system that is able to um, create software that, is a, that allows 
us to create clinically relevant rehabilitation software that allows clinicians to remotely prescribe exercises to their patients, and their patients could engage in motivating in, uh, rehabilitation exercises from the comfort of their own home with real-time feedback and remote guidance from their clinician. So just to go back a little bit, um, the, 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 um, the, the, the groups, these are just small numbers, the, the, in a small subset of the groups that we're aiming to target, but there's about 800,000 people in, in the United States that suffer from stroke and about 100,000 um, that suffer from traumatic brain injury. So back to our system. <laughs> so basically this is how our system works. Uh, the clinician assesses the patient and prescribes them the therapy in, in, uh, on site. Then, then from home, the patient logs in, the system captures their body, detects, detects their physical movements, and then engages them in clinically prescribed rehabilitation exercises and giving them real-time feedback. And then anytime from anywhere, the clinician could then log in and check to see how my patient is progressing. Do they need a more challenging program? Are they experiencing pain? What's their, what's, how are things doing? Do I need to slow things down? Do I need to focus in a certain area? And basically, the type of software that we created, we have a whole slew of rehabilitation modules. So there's exercises, there's balance types of games for balance and vestibular issues, there's postural control issues for fall prevention and, and gait analysis. There is also functional tasks where we put a patient in a simulated environment where they can perform functional tasks like uh, managing objects in the kitchen. And all that, all the, the statistics end up coming to uh, become accessible to a, to a clinician. And I'm very proud to say that after a year of uh, very, very intensive work, we're now FDA cleared and Health Canada approved. <laughs> Cost me years of my life. <laughs> um, Feel the pain. Yeah. <laughs> so that there you have it. Um, we're, we have we had the real privilege to work with some very brave partners who are willing to get on board with us at this early stage. Uh, partners in pediatrics, um, orthopedic, uh, neurological rehabilitation. So that's really exciting to have them on board working with us. And uh, we've had some great uh, great um, things that that. Uh, that clinicians and patients have had to say. It's flexible, adaptable, allows patients to make faster, more accurate movements. And, then and patients also say great things, fun, motivating, clinically effective, and this we say way better than the other stuff they make me do around here. That's what he said, so I say that. Um, that's, that's the, the gist of the presentation. Um, I don't have a business card, but please take down the coordinates if you have, if you're interested to learn more, or if you want to just talk about ideas that you have. Uh, we'd really like to uh, to engage with you guys. Thank you.